It's numbers like these that have Metro Detroit teachers on edge right now. Each district that opens this fall will face challenges, but some school districts like Warren are simply putting things on hold until they receive more guidance from the state. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell picks up the story from there. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, about one in four teachers has underlying health conditions that puts them in the high risk category at risk for serious complications or even death from COVID-19. For union presidents, hearing these stories firsthand in schools, it hits home. On Tuesday, the Anchor Bay School District Board of Education voted to offer both in-person and virtual classes. The decision came after most parents who spoke said they needed schools open. Until we are guaranteed that those things are going to be put in place and that our staff can come back safely, we're not comfortable with face-to-face -face instruction at this time. Jamie Petron, who is a middle school teacher and the president of the Anchor Bay Education Association, sent the district this letter listing questions teachers want answered. She says she's concerned because about 90% of the district's parents have voiced that they want in-person learning. If you look at a typical classroom, trying to six, put desks six feet apart when you have 34 students in a room, you can't do it. During the board meeting, school leaders spoke about how someone would have to sanitize an entire classroom in between periods. Jamie is concerned that will fall on teachers who already have other tasks during these times. In my building, we have one custodian during the day. Um, I think we have 755 kids in my middle school. And I believe in being forthright that we are going to have challenges. And I am concerned about the idea that, that we would be sending teachers into a classroom with 25 plus students. And how are we going to ensure their safety? Superintendent Leonard Woodside told me what he said during the board meeting. He too is concerned. We are going to put together, you know, the safest, you know, opportunities, process, procedures that we possibly can. Schools across the state are preparing for staffing shortages as some workers simply decide not to come to work as they make tough decisions balancing the health of their families and themselves with work. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim. A lot of tough decisions to be made for sure.